The way I define grit is simply two things, passion and perseverance for very long-term goals. Every day you wake up and you're still interested in it. You understand that it matters to other people. Growing up with a father who was very, very interested in achievement and who was more successful than whom, and at least in our family, you know, who was more talented um, than others, and a mother who was very supportive, you know, I think I really had in some ways what I would consider you know, parents who, who did put me on the right path to grit. In addition to being, you know, a role model for Grit himself in the way he lived his life, my dad actually articulated a very different message when he spoke to me. So when I was a little girl, you know, just out of the blue, he would say things like, you know, you're no genius. Of my mother, who is an artist, he would say, you know, you're no Picasso. Um, these are not helpful statements, but I think the thing that was interesting to me was that that's not how he actually lived his life. So my father didn't consider himself to be preternaturally gifted uh, intellectually uh, so much, but he worked really, really hard and was incredibly passionate. He was a chemist and incredibly passionate and took his work home, thought about it all the time. So in a way, I got these mixed messages growing up. On the one hand, you know, my dad really modeled for me what it was like to, to have grit. On the other hand, um, I kind of got this message that if you're not really talented, you might not be as successful as, of course, he wanted me to be growing up. And so I think from very early on, I've been interested in achievement personally and interested in this um, assumption I think that a lot of people make including my dad which is that if you're really talented you know, you're know you gonna be the one who's gonna achieve great things in life and what I came to realize from my own personal experience and certainly through my psychological research is that that is um, in large part a myth that you know the really talented people don't always stick with things in the long run and people for whom things aren't super easy uh, end up in many cases prevailing.